How's it going everyone? It's Sam. I hope you see what's happening in crypto right now. There's a lot of things happening behind the scenes and you need to know what countries are doing with Bitcoin. I know I say crypto and Bitcoin kind of interchangeably here, but a lot of countries do want to start getting their hands on Bitcoin. A lot of companies in countries want to start buying Bitcoin and we can see what's happening right now. If you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn on the bell notification underneath the video so you can see future videos just like this one, as soon as I publish them. Also, there is a link down there to Margex where you can trade cryptocurrency. You can get this set up in five minutes. You can start leverage trading, which I honestly think can be very useful as part of a portfolio. That should not be your main strategy, but it can be useful to help amplify your returns. And a lot of people will start doing this when the market's spiking up, but you probably want to set this up now. So that way you're all ready. You have your deposits in there. Now, Caspa has been one of the big winners over the last week, uh, last week and a half, and it is something that you can trade over on Margex. A lot of people don't realize that, but it is something that you can trade and get access to there. Now, Bitcoin's price is a little bit back and forth. You can see just kind of staying around this $51,000 to $53,000 range, but you can see some stuff happening in the backgrounds. And we're starting to see new retail start to trickle in. This is really cool. Just bought my first $50 of Bitcoin. Just curious, what's your... He was asking my current dollar valuation, but the journey to a whole coin starts with $50. I'm actually working on video right now. It's uploading right now. It's almost an hour long, a beginner's guide to crypto. So if you are kind of lost in videos like this, be ready. There's a video for you coming out very soon. This just came out though. According to coin post, Japan has approved a proposal that would allow Japanese venture capital firms to invest in projects that only issue cryptocurrencies. Previously, Japanese VCs were unable to directly invest in cryptocurrency assets. The Japanese government will submit a draft amendment to parliament as early as 2024. We've talked about how people in Japan may be looking to get into cryptocurrency because they just went into an official recession at the same time, like within a couple days of Bitcoin hitting new all-time highs. Now, different venture capital firms want access to Bitcoin. They can see so many big institutions in the US start to buy Bitcoin for their investors. They want to be able to buy Bitcoin as well. They want to get ahead of it. And unfortunately for them, they're stuck behind a little bit. But there's also news of South Korea. Uh, South Korea's ruling party considers lifting a ban on spot Bitcoin ETFs and investment products. There are a lot of companies, a lot of countries that are changing their views on Bitcoin, even in the U.S. The politicians have changed their tune a lot. Of course, they are trying to get votes for the next election, so it doesn't really make sense to talk about things you don't like as much as things that you do like, unless you want votes from people that don't like those other things. So... A lot of people want to start approving this so that way they can get access to Bitcoin. We've seen the institutional demand uh, in the U.S. just be explosive. And while the market isn't trading today, we can continue to see that for weeks and weeks into the future on days that the ETFs are trading. So there are a lot of people lining up to buy Bitcoin. I do want to say just be careful of who you listen to these days. Like, this has nothing to do with Bitcoin, but I saw this video. Let me play this for you. This is from Ross Gerber. He used to be pretty well respected because um, me, Kevin had him on videos. I honestly liked listening to him because he was kind of a contrarian at one point, but listen to him talk about Palantir. And I'll explain why we're listening to him talk about Palantir here in a second. There's gonna be more comments on Palantir. I'm kind of no, it's definitely, it's definitely a high say. play, but it trades at a very high multiple. They don't make money and the insiders are constantly selling stock. I mean, if you want to see insiders making money, look at insider sales at Palantir. Okay, so that's all I had to play. He's talking about Palantir. Probably hasn't looked at it in a long time, but he says something that he thinks is probably right about Palantir. Uh, and the reason I bring this up is there are people that do the same thing with crypto. They don't really understand crypto. They haven't looked at it in a long time. They don't understand what's happening. It makes some bold claim. And because they've been successful in other investing, people will listen to them. Take a look at this though. This is the insider purchases for Palantir over the last six months. Purchases, almost 10 million shares, sales, less than 8 million. So they've netted out about 2 million purchases. So it's not like everyone at Palantir is dumping their shares. No, they're actually buying more shares. They bought almost 1.4% of the market cap. And he says they don't make any money. That's not true either. 
You can see they have positive EBITDA for the last few quarters, the last year. They have positive free cash flow for multiple years, since 2021. They have positive net income for the last year plus. So this is a company that continues to look healthier and healthier, like their their cash is going up, they have free cash flow. Um, right now, yeah, their price went up. They're trading at a 84 uh, price to earnings ratio. But when you compare this to other similar companies, it's not like it's out of the uh, normal for the, this kind of company, uh, software as a service company that grows pretty quickly. So I just brought this up because I, honestly, I thought it was really stupid what Ross said. Uh, and to be clear, Ross is probably smarter than me, probably significantly smarter than me. But I keep my focus on very few things so that I can do them well. Some people get asked about a lot of different companies and they just haven't looked at them in a while. So to be clear, people are gonna do that with cryptocurrency too. They're gonna to talk about how Bitcoin's trash, how it does it's not held um, by real investors, how it has nothing backing it, and that's all misinformation. So just keep your head out there. Don't let people FUD you out. Even people that are bullish on crypto sometimes talk bearish so that way they can try to influence you to sell your Bitcoin. And believe me, that is gonna come at some point in the future. Just a healthy reminder too, there are some entities cracking down on crypto. Make sure that you file your taxes. And I bring this up because I started another company recently that helps you with your crypto taxes. And I just saw this a few days ago. This literally came out a few days ago that Kraken wants you to report on your self-custody wallets. And a lot of people think that they can get away with not paying taxes, but they're literally going to shut down accounts unless you tell them if you own certain uh, wallets. So it's just crazy. Make sure you understand what the governments are doing too. They realize that this is a huge place where they can make money, a huge uh, future revenue stream for them. So the person that I own this business with, Crypto Moses, you can go check out his channel. I'll put this underneath the video as well. He's got 2.62 subs. He should have more than that. He's been in crypto for a while. He owns a lot of really successful businesses in the real world. And there are a lot of people talking about crypto taxes right now. Like I just saw Digital Asset News point out the fact that you may want to file your taxes, make sure that you uh, talk about your crypto on your taxes because otherwise you can make a huge mistake and you can get in trouble for not reporting it. And right now, you know, Bitcoin's at 52,000. Maybe you can go away with not paying taxes. That's not tax advice. I'm just saying some people think that, but if Bitcoin goes up 5X, 10X, and yeah, you start making hundreds of thousands of dollars that you didn't even report, that could be really bad. So of course, do your own research. I'm not telling you to buy or sell anything. Uh, there are some cryptocurrencies that I've been watching. Like I've said in some previous videos that have done really well. One, Syncus uh, actually just announced they're doing a massive airdrop with some of the most popular NFT holders out there, uh, some of the most popular projects. If you want to check that out, feel free to. Again, not telling you to buy or sell anything. Just an interesting project that's close to all-time highs That's uh, that I've heard from a couple people that met with the team. They're super bullish. They think that this could go up 30x from here. So definitely check them out. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I will see you in the next video.